Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast I'll be breaking down two different large storms that'll be coming to the United States over the next 10 days and these two storms are going to bring six straight days of severe weather that is not an exaggeration by the way we are dealing with a pretty elongated severe weather event that will bring the threat for damaging winds large hail and tornadoes across a large chunk of the United States the main event event though will begin on Thursday and run all the way through Sunday. I'll be giving you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast and let's begin first with what's happening right now in the United States today that'll lead to this threat of severe weather over the next several days and right now we do actually have a large storm that is moving across the Midwest. Luckily this is not bringing any sort of severe weather but it is bringing some showers and even a couple of snow showers to like northern Minnesota for example but plenty of rainfall falling across the Midwest West, including Chicago today. It's going to be a pretty quick moving system though and behind this it will bring a little bit of colder air but it should not be anything too substantial. Nothing like what we saw in the winter but definitely some nice enjoyable weather behind this for the Midwest at least for maybe a day or two. Eventually this will move into the Northeast and that'll bring some more rain to areas in New England as we go later into the week. Now across the Southern Plains, the Southeast and the West Coast and the Rocky Mountains there's nothing happening right now it's beautiful weather really sunny skies for most areas but that will change as we get closer to Thursday as a large storm will rumble across over the Rocky Mountains eventually posing a multi-day severe weather event risk across areas in the Great Plains the Midwest the Ohio Valley and as well as the lower Mississippi Valley so buckle up it is going to be a very active next several days across the United States now before I talk about the severe weather I did want to mention that the temperatures will be back on the rise across most of the United States. We are going to have one more shot of cold air on the back side of that trough across the Northeast on Thursday, but this is not going to be super substantial for the rest of the country as most areas will still remain around, if not above average when it comes to temperatures. So you'll notice as we go into Friday, warmer air starts to return. Here's that low pressure system, which would pull a strong southerly wind, which means that warmer and moist air would be coming out of the Gulf of Mexico. And then once we get closer to Saturday, Saturday and as well as into Sunday that warm air stays in place for most of the United States and then maybe another shot of cold air as we go into Sunday or Monday behind the second storm that is going to bring severe weather and once again there will be two storms and not just one that's bringing severe weather which we'll again talk about here in just a second here are the temperatures that are forecasted for Wednesday which is wacky weather Wednesday pretty chilly across the Midwest and the New England areas look at that 40s for high temperatures in many areas only a few areas in the 50s Chicago goes high temperature tomorrow 43 very chilly up there but go down to the south go to areas like texas and florida if you want temperatures in the 80s a few areas may even crank into the 90s across parts of west texas so it is going to be warm down that direction you're going to have to buckle up because we are going to be talking about the next six days for severe weather across the United States. And overall, for the next couple of days, the risks are overall pretty low and pretty small, but it really grows in size once we get closer to tossing trampolines on tall trees Thursday, all the way through suspicious storms Sunday. So let's begin first with what's happening today in terms of severe weather. The Storm Prediction Center has a marginal threat for severe weather near the Chicago suburbs and back in the Michigan. We have a small slight risk of severe weather in parts of north central Texas near Wichita Falls and Abilene. Overall, two very small areas for severe weather. I'm not expecting any sort of tornado risk, but maybe some large hail and damaging winds in both areas. It's going to be a relatively low risk overall, though. There may be a storm or two that produce hail as large as tennis balls if you're back down in north central Texas, but overall, it's a low risk for today. Once we go into tomorrow, that is when things get a little bit larger in the southern plains, and then that other storm will move out so we're not really dealing with any severe weather out of that but if you're back down in Oklahoma and Texas get ready for at least some isolated damaging winds and hail as we go into wacky weather Wednesday for central Oklahoma back into west Texas there will be some large hail and damaging winds possible and once we go into Thursday this is going to be the first of multiple big days for severe weather and what I mean by that is that significant severe weather like a few tornadoes damaging winds and some significant hail will begin to be possible and this 
this is where it all starts, which will again be on Thursday, anywhere from southern Nebraska back into Texas. That is where the main concern is for damaging winds, large to very large hail, and perhaps a few tornadoes. So definitely make sure that you have a tornado action plan in place and multiple ways to receive alerts for tossing trampolines on tall trees Thursday. And once we go into Friday, this risk gets even larger. We're going to be talking about more than likely some sort of enhanced risk for severe weather somewhere, maybe in Kansas or Missouri, but there's probably going to be some sort of more increased risk because I do think Friday is going to be one of the worst days for severe weather. But there is at this time at least a large slight risk from Iowa back into north and central Texas. That does include areas like the DFW Metroplex, like Dallas, Fort Worth. The main concern for Friday will again be damaging winds, large hail, and a few tornadoes. A couple of strong tornadoes cannot be ruled out either Thursday or Friday. Once we go into Saturday, that threat does shrink a little bit, but the reason why is because that first storm is going to weaken out over in the Midwest, and then a second storm is going to develop, and that is what this is going to be a part of. That slight risk includes Missouri, Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, and Arkansas. The main concern on Saturday right now is damaging winds and hail, but again, a few tornadoes cannot be ruled out. And then by the time we go into Sunday, that risk grows once again, and this one includes the Midwest, like Illinois, Southern Wisconsin, Iowa, Missouri, and as well as Arkansas, Texas, Louisiana, and as well as Oklahoma. Once again, the main concern as well for Sunday will be damaging winds and hail, and then a few tornadoes cannot be ruled out. Before I show you the timing and the overall view of where these storms will be happening on each and every day, I did want to show you the jet stream. This gives us an idea of the weather patterns that are happening across the United States. And I really want to show you the dynamics of these storms as we go into the weekend and as well as into the late week. By Thursday evening, we are going to have a negatively tilted trough across the Rocky Mountains. And what that means is that we are going to have quite a bit of spin in the atmosphere across the central and southern plains. In addition to that, there's going to be a strong southerly wind pulling lots of moisture out of the Gulf of Mexico. That means that we're going to have a lot of buoyancy and a pretty organized threat for severe weather both Thursday and as well as Friday. Once we go into Saturday, that first trough begins to weaken out for the most part. Maybe a couple of isolated severe storms left for Saturday. But what we're going to be watching for on Saturday is more than likely a more significant trough. This one will likely be stronger than the first one. With that said, it is again going to be a negatively tilted trough, which means that we're going to have a lot of spin in the atmosphere once again on Saturday and as well as Sunday across the central and southern plains and as well as the Midwest and eventually as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, hallelujah, we're done with severe weather hopefully for a few days. High pressure will build back in across much of the United States. There's your jet stream. We're really not going to have really any organized pattern by the middle of next week, which is good news because after this event, I think we're going to need a break at least for a few days. Here's what we're talking about with timing for the next few days. So showers and storms will continue in the Midwest today. Tomorrow, a few isolated severe storms possible in Oklahoma and West Texas. Large hail damaging winds are the main concern. By the time we go into Thursday, that is when our first of many live streams are likely. We'll likely have some severe weather possible during the evening hours across much of Texas, Oklahoma, and as well as Kansas and Southern Nebraska, where large hail damaging winds are the main concerns, but a few tornadoes cannot be ruled out. By Friday, more severe weather will continue across a large chunk of the western parts of the Midwest, back into the Southern Plains. Once we go into late Friday, night to Saturday morning, that system starts to weaken out and moves to the northeast, so overall the threat of severe weather will be lower out of that disturbance, and then by the time we go into Saturday afternoon, an explosion of storms is likely across Oklahoma, Kansas, and Texas, and this particular storm is likely going to bring a significant shot for damaging winds, some hail, and as well as maybe a couple of tornadoes, and then once we go into late Saturday night, storms continue to move into the Midwest, and as well as northeast Texas and Missouri, and then once we go into Sunday, there will be another round of of severe weather. I do think Sunday might be a little bit more isolated than Saturday, but we'll have to wait and see. With that said, we could still see significant severe weather. Just overall, the storm coverage will be a bit more robust with supercells being more of the concern instead of a linear line of storms. And then once we go into Monday, that storm moves further to the east where maybe some isolated severe weather remains for Kentucky and Tennessee. But overall, by Tuesday, we're done with this and we will hopefully have at least a couple of days off as we go into the middle of next week. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like button down below and subscribe if you've not already.